everything we need to solve the climate crisis and reach net zero emissions by 2035. All that's missing is our political leaders taking action. Net zero by 2050 is simply too late. We're already facing the impacts of climate change, from devastating bushfires to sweeping floods and unbearable heat waves that put lives at risk. The next decade is a huge opportunity to build a more just and fair world, where we tackle the climate crisis with solutions that put people and our communities first. Across So Called Australia, solving the climate crisis looks like land rights and land back for First Nations peoples. In the Hunter Valley, solving the climate crisis looks like immediately ending all subsidies for fossil fuels, including the Kari Kari gas plant, and creating clean energy jobs to support a just transition for coal communities. In my community, net zero by 2035 looks like investing in renewable energy across all schools in Australia. Using household renewables such as solar panels across the community to reduce carbon emissions. Utilising wind power. Putting the Indigenous people of the land in positions of power and consulting with them to find solutions to the climate crisis that work for them. Keeping coal, oil and gas in the ground and ending public subsidies and tax breaks for fossil fuels. Net Zero by 2030 looks like having increasingly environmentally friendly and accessible public transport options. More electric vehicles and smarter public transport options. Safe, accessible and carbon neutral bike paths so that we can get to school, uni and work cleanly and quickly. Maintaining our bike trails so close to the city but also building more to encourage more active transport. In my community, Net Zero by 2035 looks like accessible urban green space to absorb carbon, improve community health and increase biodiversity. First Nation and community-led ecological restoration. Additional investment in urban greenscape and community gardens, areas that are super important in fostering and promoting sustainability ideas and initiatives. Composting organic waste. Composting reduces landfill waste, adds microorganisms to the soil and is great for your environment. Strengthening local waterways and catchment systems and protecting houses from sea level rise so that we can all continue to live here safely and enjoy spending time outside with friends and family. In my community, Western Sydney, solving the climate crisis looks like no more extreme weather conditions like severe hot summer days and frequent floods. Mitigating against the urban heat island phenomenon, this can be done by retrofitting old buildings and increasing green cover along streets. Subsidising renewable energy so that we can have solar powered heat and bush by refuge in times of crisis to protect the people most vulnerable in our communities. For myself and other disabled and chronically ill young people across Australia, solving the climate crisis looks like accessible housing that is not only set up but also provides adequate cooling to keep us safe as the climate changes. Solving the climate crisis means net zero emissions by 2035 with a clear pathway to get there that helps communities across Australia thrive. We're calling on our political leaders to commit to the net zero by 2035 target with a clear pathway to get there that puts community-led solutions and justice at the centre.